A crack more than 120 miles long on the east side of the Antarctic Peninsula finally breaking off, creating a spectacular iceberg weighing more than a trillion metric tons, roughly the size of Delaware. UCLA professor Aradna Tripathi has spent her career studying Antarctic ice, traveling to the very peninsula where the ice shelf called Larsen Sea broke off. Professor Tripathi has seen two other big sections of the peninsula break off and dissolve, the first in 1995 and then another in 2002. She watched as this crack grew for years, caught off guard that this break happened so soon. What this latest break means is something scientists aren't yet agreed on. Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth, is a continent covered in ice, and icebergs have been breaking away from ice shelves for millions of years. But at the end of the 20th century, the peninsula was one of the fastest warming places on the planet. That warming has slowed or reversed slightly in this century. Stop. Rewind. <laughs> The supply ship was readied for its long journey. Soon it was to trade New York's harbor for the ice-packed perils of Antarctic waters. Admiral Byrd on deck, along with the ship's skipper, Captain Melville. History was in the making as Admiral Byrd stood on deck. Then his ship plowed toward the open sea. Bird climbed up the rigging for a last look at the New York skyline for many long, lonesome months. Admiral Bird and his companion plane will try the 800-mile flight first. The others await his orders. At Little America, cameramen and Admiral Cruzen wait anxiously. And there comes Bird. Cruzen can relax now. The skis work perfectly. Daylight finds the planes over the pack ice. With frozen death below and weather closing in, navigation becomes tricky. This close to the pole, the magnetic compass is no help. Now beyond the pole, Bird focuses his cameras and magnetic detectors on land new to him and to all mankind. Bunger leans forward in amazement. His eyes have caught a sudden and unbelievable change in scenery. The universal white is turned to chocolate brown dotted with blue. A cameraman goes into action. 300 square miles of land without snow. Land that might be in New Mexico or Arizona. Pictures alone will prove Bunger has discovered a warm oasis in the shadow of the pole. It is for such supreme moments as this that men brave the hardships of exploration. The astounding, undreamed of fact is that they are over a chain of warm water lakes whose shores, except for small patches, are free of ice and snow. Commander Bunger circles the largest lake in sight, five miles long. He comes in to make a landing. Water temperatures must be recorded. Samples taken. He finds the water fresh, the temperature 38 degrees Fahrenheit. On the shores are vast deposits of coal and of minerals of the utmost importance to civilization. 1948, they flew by the actual South Pole, and around that area they found an oasis, if you will. So, if you go to Google Earth and do a time lapse on Antarctica, you can see they're saying there's an oasis there, but on Google Earth, it's just all white. But it kind of looks kind of patchy right around the South Pole, like it was covered up with something. But if you go digging down there, you'll find all these 360 pictures, a lot which are inappropriately tagged there but there are some that are in Antarctica for instance if you would look at this 360 photo and compare it to footage from Admiral Byrd's expedition they look pretty similar an oasis in Antarctica And then, of course, there's this one, which kind of blows me away. It's like this giant sea right around the South Pole. Lots of uh, mountains in the background. 
They kind of look like evil castles in the background. It's pretty cool looking though. Let's zoom in a little here. I mean, it's not what I would have pictured down around the South Pole. And it's definitely not all white like Google Earth shows it. And one more area. This pl this place is pretty uh pretty crazy looking. Otherworldly. So yeah, this is uh these are all around the South Pole. Right around the South Pole of Antarctica. And it's not a white frozen barren land directly around the South Pole at least it's um it's very alien while I'm exploring Antarctica on Earth I decided to take a look around and just see what else I could find and that's when I found this so off the coast if you go between Antarctica and South America and over a little you'll see these little islands and if you just play around and look around and turn on all the filters like pictures and all that sorry about the cicadas there's <laughs> a lot of them around here but you'll find this which looks like well what's it look like to you The cicadas, no. I think that I'm going to go ahead and say that this iceberg breaking off Antarctica is going to be what they use for an excuse to say they found ancient technology in a flash frozen civilization. Speculation, of course. And of course, there's this. of Admiral Byrd's intrepid 4,000, veterans of the Antarctic, trained to combat the sub-zero enemy of the polar continent. They're going home to their mothers, sweethearts, wives, children. Home, strong in the knowledge that they have met the Antarctic's heaviest battalions and conquered. This is to be their lifelong reward, this knowledge and the Navy's highest commendation. Well done.